I'm Gunnery Sergeant Raleigh Pennington, the staff and COIC of the Scout Sniper course at School of Infantry Eastboard, Camp Geiger, North Carolina. Our enemies across the world are paying close attention to our every move and are constantly trying to target us and our position. To combat this threat, there are some simple techniques that an individual or a unit can take to remain a hard target. Today we're going to talk about the techniques of concealment by talking about the camouflage of an individual, his position, and his equipment. Today we will take you with the Scout Sniper Course Class 317 out to the training areas and the ranges to demonstrate to you the techniques of concealment and camouflage. Now that we're actually out here at the training area, the first thing we're going to talk about is camouflage. Camouflage is a use of concealment or disguise in order to minimize the possibility of ID and detection of troops, equipment, and installations. The first part of camouflage that we need to understand is how to cam camouflage an individual effectively. First, I must understand my operating environment. We're out here in a woodland area, i.e. I need to choose woodland camouflage as my Marine Corps uniform to wear in this environment, not a desert pattern, which would not be appropriate this type of environment. So the first thing the individual is going to do is he's going to apply cami paint to expose surfaces of skin. This is going to eliminate shine it's also going to break up the sharp angles and patterns of his facial structure. Now, to do this properly, you need to apply light colors in the shaded par parts of your face, and you need to use darker colors on parts of your face that protrude. Now, the three basic methods when applying cami paint is striped, blotching, and a combination. Now, I know that you're not limited to these three basic methods. They're just a baseline to start from. The ultimate goal is you want to blend in with your natural surroundings. Something to keep in mind, camouflage is a continuous process. You must continuously improve your position and reapply your cami paint. Now that we talked about what an individual should look like, now we're going to talk about camouflaging your position. Behind me right now is a Marine properly camouflaged into this tree line. What we're going to do now is we're going to talk about how he's blending in with his natural environment. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is the camouflage of an individual's position. This Marine here, as you can see, before we couldn't see them when we were only 10 feet away from them. What he did is he took natural vegetation from the surrounding areas and used it to camouflage and blend in to the natural environment. By doing so, this marine now effectively blends in with the surrounding vegetation. He has the right colors and the right vegetation. Now, one thing to take in note, he did not pull vegetation from his immediate area. He cut and used this vegetation from a different area, not the position that you're trying to conceal yourself in. The next portion we're gonna talk about is the camouflage of our equipment. As you see, the marine also took vegetation and he wrapped around his weapon system and on his shooting platform and camouflage all his equipment in his position. A key thing to keep in note, the equipment still has to operate once you put the vegetation on it. Go ahead. This Marine will be effectively be able to utilize his rifle from this concealed location. Now that we explain this scout sniper student here and his equipment sets, you probably notice he has a boat action rifle and how does that apply to you? The next series of clips we're going to show you is going to teach you how to camouflage a service rifle or a carbine in your standard Marine Corps PPE. In addition to camouflaging scout sniper equipment, our standard Marine Corps equipment can also be camouflaged by using natural or artificial means, i.e. we took a burlap sandbag and camouflaged this M4 carbine. Now, something to keep in note, the operating parts of the weapon still have to work, i.e. your safety selector still has to operate and function. Your boat handle still needs to operate and function. Your magazine release, etc. If it doesn't work, then it's going to impede your operation, then you have ineffectively camouflaged your system. Your Kevlar has cuts in the helmet. This is designed that you can add vegetation to it, effectively breaking up the outline of your standard Kevlar helmet. Along with camouflage, there are three types of improper camouflage. Shine, outline, and contrast of background. As you see, this Marine's Kevlar looks like a turtle in the bushes. This is a key giveaway of this Marine's position. The next thing we're going to talk about is outline. When a Marine is above the vegetation line, 
and you can see the outline of his body is another form of improper camouflage. The last portion we're going to talk about is shine. You notice this Marine over here he has green cami paint on and his black glasses. As soon as he looks up towards the sun, it's going to reflect light and give away his position. Camouflage your individual self, your equipment, and your position may sound simple. But keep in mind, if your enemy can see you, he can shoot you. If you do it correctly, it can save Marines' lives. Now we're going to transition and show you from a rural area and take you to the urban setting and show you how to camouflage yourself in an urban environment. 317, let's go. Sector Alpha, TRP2, Northwest, 300 meters, go, fire. What you just saw the two Marines do was effectively camouflage themselves in an urban position. What they did is take simple cami netting and turn it around backwards to create the illusion of artificial shadow in the building. From downrange looking in, the Marines weren't able to be observed. This is a simple trick that any Marine can use in combat. The ultimate end state to camouflaging yourself, both in urban and rural settings, is not to be on the opposite end of the barrel. Stay out of sight, stay out of mind. For more information on techniques of camouflage and concealment, you can reference Marine Corps Tactical Publication 3 Tech 01 Alpha, Scouting and Patrolling, and Marine Corps Tactical Publication 3 Tech 01 Sniping.